We can only do these events. It's presented by Jiva in partnership with Friends of Ganagan, National Technical Institute for the Deaf, in association with Native Voices, with support in part from the National Endowment for the Arts. And special thanks to Dr. Eileen Ryan for, um, for her contributions. Before I'm going to turn it over to my colleague, um, I would say my partner in crime, if this is crime, <laughs> <laughs> Jeanette Jimison. Um, but I want to read our land acknowledgement first. We respectfully acknowledge that Jiva Theater Center sits on the ancestral and unceded territory of the Onondaga, or the people of the Great Hill. In English, they are known as the Seneca people, the keeper of the Western Door. They have stewarded this land through generations, and we pay respect and give thanks to their elders past and present. We are meeting digitally and recognize the legacies of colonization embedded within the technology structures and ways of thinking that we've come to rely on especially now. We are using equipment and internet that is not available in many indigenous communities across and beyond the United States. The devices that we use were made in ways that carry a carbon footprint and contribute to the climate change that disproportionately affects indigenous peoples worldwide. And I'm saying that last part because we are live streaming on HowlRound Theater Commons. We did that to increase the accessibility and um, access to people who maybe couldn't be with us today. And now, Jeanette Jemison. Yahweh yeah, Skeno, I am Jeanette Jemison, I'm Mohawk, and I am Snipe Clan. I am the program director for the Friends of Ganondagan and have been associated with Ganondagan since uh, the Friends of Ganai began since 1989 when it began. So, yep, I'm that old. So, <laughs> <laughs> and, um, so, what I wanted to say is just I'm so glad to have all of you in the audience here and all of you in the audience out there someplace. But um, this has been a project that we've worked on for um, a couple of years trying to get. Um, more indigenous plays and playwrights and the exposure that they really need and, um, and that we really want as Native people. Um, I, I grew up in Rochester and I also knew that um, I didn't have arts. As I got older, I knew that arts wasn't a part of my life at that time. I went to a Catholic school, so art wasn't there. But um, I also um, grew up in this right in the city of Rochester, and we weren't really exposed to going to um, a play or musicals or um, anything like that. It wasn't part of our culture. Um, we didn't hear about it, um, but as I got older, I would start to hear about plays. and. When I was able to afford it, I decided to go, and um, and I have a love for going to the plays, and now have um, actually brought my granddaughter with us to several uh, plays and musicals. She loves the musicals, um, so I thought that um, it was important for us to do this. And I met Santee. Um, Years ago, it must have been. It was before COVID, and we started, and we talked about possibly the mush hole coming to Ganon again. But once Santee saw the setup at Ganon again, it wasn't going to be. It wasn't going to happen there. Um, just the way we're set up, it needed the stage. And after I saw it yesterday, I definitely understood why. Um, there is, you know, there's so much equipment and things that have to happen that we didn't have the room for that at Ganon again. But I was still determined to make it happen and um, who we could partner with. Luckily, um, I have a friend, Rachel de Guzman, who I've known since early 90s because we were different committees together that um, we just always stayed in contact, always kept crossing paths. And so what happened was that when she got the job here and we started to talk more and then I was saying, what about the mush hole? 
and um, and it happened. You know, she being here at Jiva helped to make that happen. And I really feel like this is a true partnership because um, it's not just checking a box. You know, I always feel like, you know, there's so much things about diversity and inclusion and all of that, but we're not here, we don't want to check someone's box. We want to be here to build a relationship. And this is an example of a true relationship within our communities. And so we combined, we also have um, young people that we want to show, you know, go to a play, this could be your, you know, this could be you someday. You could be, a, you know, an actor, you could write a play, you could, you know, be the executive director for the Jiva Theater, <laughs> you know. You, there's so many roles that they, they need that exposure. So that's why this partner is so important to us. And it's been important to me. Um, it's been lots of fun. And um, so we just want you to know that this is a true relationship and we're very happy for it. Um, we plan on continuing the relationship and Pure Native is coming next and we're so excited about that. You'll be hearing more and more from us, the Kanadigan and Jiva about that and we hope that you'll continue to support um, what we're trying to build here as a community. So um, anyways, we hope you enjoy the day. Yesterday was fantastic. Santee, you're the bomb. <laughs> so long and it was just just really beautiful so thank you so much um, I guess that's it thank you I just want to add because she's not here because she's directing a play in Houston who's been part of this planning process our artistic director Elizabeth Williams Williamson and um, this is really something that she's very committed to to also and you know, one of the first people she met, she asked me who she should meet with in our communities when she got to Rochester. And Jeanette was on the top of that list, and I think it may have been one, of, may have been the first person she met with. So I did want to leave her out of this room because she's in Texas right now. And I just want to say that yesterday, yes, Santee, I did get to see the Mush Bowl in UV a couple years ago. And it took us a couple years, but you're here, you came. <laughs> and um, it just is su it was such a powerful um, performance. I'm not going to say more about that because Santee will say it much better than I can. And I'd like to welcome her to the stage. Woo!